That's what this business is really all about. It's, it's the networking side. Let me tell you what the networking side does. The networking side makes the product affordable. You guys with me? Yes. The, the network marketing side of this business makes what we offer to people affordable. Because if there was no network marketing, and you wanted to get the services that iMarkets Live provides, just one of them. Let's say you just wanted to have a trader trade Forex for you. They would take 20 to 30% of your, of your commissions that you earned. Right? If you lost, they didn't take 20-30% of what you lost. Does that make sense? Yes. So the networking side gives us the ability to share what it is that we have with other people at a fraction of the cost of what they would normally have to pay. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Yeah. All right? Because now when you have thousands of people paying the monthly subscription, Right? Your monthly is only 145 or 185, but you're benefiting from the thousands of other people that are also investing the 145 to 185. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Yeah. Alright? So this business is about trading. Right? The business is about learning the skill of trading. It's about learning the skill of multiplying money. Alright? Now here's what I know. I know. 1,000% how to be successful at trading. All right? Now, prior to this business, I knew nothing about trading. But prior to this business, I knew 1,000% how to be successful at trading. Yeah. Because to be successful at one thing, there's a formula that you can apply to everything. Does that make sense? Yes. The same exact way a person succeeds in trading is the same exact way they succeed in real estate. It's the same exact way they succeed in ministry. It's the same exact way they succeed in every area of their life. All right? And it starts with a decision. See, 13 years ago, I made a decision that I was going to be successful in network marketing. I did not doubt it. I did not question it. I did not waver from it. Was Were there tough times? Absolutely. But the decision was made. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So in order for you to be successful, whether it's in Forex, whether it's in networking, whether it's in real estate, whether it's in your tax business, whatever it is, the decision has to be made first. Alright? Now, what is that decision? Alright? Success. Success was defined, the best, the best definition I've heard for success was by Earl Nightingale. How many of you guys know who Earl Nightingale is? The Strangest Secret. If you haven't heard that audio, it's about 36 minutes. Yes. It will completely change your life. I was laughing when I heard that audio. Literally laughing when I heard it. Because I heard, I heard the strangest secret. And I was laughing because I was like, it can't be that simple. <laughs> That's why I was laughing. I was like, come on. There's got to be more to it. And there wasn't. Yeah, he said, we become what we think about. All right, we become what we think about. He said, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Success is the progressive. Progressive meaning that it's always moving. There is no destination when it comes to success. Success is a moving target. What you believe, like right now, how many of you would love to be Chairman Ted? I can promise you this. When you get there, you will not want to be a Chairman Ted any longer. <laughs> <laughs> success is 
success has moved. What you thought was success, Chairman 10, $10,000 a month, $120,000 a year, as soon as you get there, it will move to Chairman 25. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy what? Ideal, a worthy goal. So it's critical that you define what that worthy ideal is because that is what success is. Success is the progressive realization. That means that I am progressively, that means I'm constantly realizing what success is. I'm constantly realizing where it is that I'm going. Have you gotten clear on what it is that you want from this business? Are you absolutely clear? Like, as clear as what your name is? Right. When it, when it comes to this business, I am very, very clear and very specific as to what it is that I desire. What I consider to be success. Which is 100 Chairman 10s. Does that make sense? Yes. That is, it's the progressive realization of a worthy goal. It is a worthy goal to me to have 100 people earning six figures a year. Alright? So I am constantly moving towards that. So today, today was success. Because I moved closer to that. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Every time you give a presentation, that's success. Because it's a progressive realization. Every time you make a phone call, that's success. Success is not the 100 chairman tens. It's the journey on the way to 100 chairman tens. But you have to have it clearly defined. You have to what? Have it clearly defined. Have it clearly defined. So take the time out right now to write down what success means to you in this business. Whether it's the trading, all right, whether it's both, building the business, I am so happy and grateful now that we have 100 Chairman 10s in our IML organization. How many of you at the leadership retreat that we did? Okay. How many of you have your card? You have your card with you. I wasn't there, but I have my card with me. <laughs> you have your card with you? All right. Listen, you have your card with you? You have to have it on you all the time. Are you with me, guys? Yes. Yep. yes. All the time. It has to be on you. It has to be present. If it's not on you, then it's not worthy. It can't be that important if it's not on you all the time. What if, what if success came to you today and said, hey, whatever you have on you right now, I'll give it to you. Oh, baby. <laughs> Give it. <laughs> For some of you, all you would get is exactly what you have on you right now. Wow. wow. But what if you had your goal on you? <laughs> and success came and you said, hey, whatever you have on you right now, I'll give it to you. You've got to make it important. When the Egyptians ruled the world, they had a famous saying, and it was, so let it be written, so let it be done. Man. When they ruled the world, that was their saying. So let it be written, so let it be done. If you have it clearly defined, have it on you all the time. That's right. You can pull it out and read it. So you can get clear and, and, and stay focused on where it is that you want to go. All right. The progressive
progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Success, there's two parts to success. All right? One part of success is spiritual. The other part of success is physical. Be, do, have. Or, be, do, equals, have. It's another way to put it. Be, do, equals, have. Be. Be is spiritual. Do is physical. Have is the manifestation of what you have been being. Is that correct language? <laughs> <laughs> it is today. <laughs> Alright. In order to, and I'm going to use my goal, right, and you can use your goal, in order to have 100 Tam and Tens, there is somebody that I have to be. I have to be the person that has a hundred Tam and Tens. Right. Then I have to do what a person does that has a hundred Tam and Tens. Wow. You want to become a successful trader, you have to be that successful trader. Okay? Somebody says, be you. Right? That someone said that to you, right? To be you. Or to be successful. Or to be, you know, a winner. Whatever it is. Alright? This is the spiritual side of success. Okay? Let me give you some more words. Over here on this side, your thoughts... You're thinking. Because thoughts and thinking are two different things. You guys know that, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts come all the time. Thinking is continuously dwelling on that thought. Alright? So think. a thought is the thought comes. Thinking is the I am inking it on my mind. I'm literally writing it down on my mind with a permanent marker. Unfortunately for some people. <laughs> you guys with me on this? You guys understand what I'm saying? All right? So thoughts will come like, you know, hey, you're going to, you're going to be a chairman 10. That's a thought that comes. But what do I say have it on you all the time is so that you can ink it. Alright? So the thoughts, the thinking, the words, the feelings, Visualization, the emotions, see whatever the success is going to be created remember this now, will first be created here.
whatever shows up here will first be created here. So in order for Chairman 10, $10,000 a day trading, whatever your goal is, for it to show up here, it's first going to have to be created in your thinking, your thoughts, your feelings, your how do you see. Hmm? How do you see things? All right? Your emotions. Mark's going to talk about that. Okay. See, over here, this is, this is the goals. This is the dreams. Okay? This is the desire. All right? Desire. The starting point of all achievement. Now, when it comes to desire, all right, you want to use your five senses when it comes to your desire. The Bible says that I will give you the desires of your heart. That's right. Yeah. All right? So that means that I have to do the work of getting my desire to where? To my heart. Your heart has gates. Your eyes. Circle the last three letters of eyes. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Everything your eyes see, it's an automatic yes. Your eyes see broke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your eyes see it's not working. Yes. Your eye sees wealth? Yes. Your eye sees is working? Yes. Okay. Your hearing, which in my opinion is the most important one. Hmm? Your five senses, yeah. Your hearing, to me, is the most important one. Sure. Right? Because you're because you're hearing all the time. And guess what you're hearing? You're, you're hearing yourself all the time. All right? Smell heart. Take away the teeth. What's another one? Touch? test drive because they want to get it in your heart right. touch it. Touch. they know when you touch the steering wheel you sit in that chair it's a wrap. That's it. smell Got em. <laughs> right do you smell like a chairman town like this, we're just scanning the room, looking for who looks like, who is being, before it happens. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. What's the last one? Feelings? Yes. Mm -hmm. Taste. Oh, taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you guys don't think taste has anything to do with this. It has a whole lot to do with it. Taste has to do with comfort zone. Mm. You know, there's certain places that we can't eat anymore. <laughs> like chilies. I will never eat a chili. Chili, chili, ever. Ever, 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 ever. 
I had food poisoning at one time. Oh. Wow. 2008. Uh, set of bad ribs, I guess. Okay. But taste doesn't just have to do with food. Taste in hotels. Taste in cars. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Levels. <laughs> Success starts where? Where does it start? In the mind. It starts in the mind. So it starts with your mentality. right here, the body will follow the mind. Now the mind is not a physical object. Alright? Because we actually have all one mind. It's just expressed seven billion different ways. Alright? You can speak a different language. But our minds are the same. Our emotions are the same. No matter where you go around the world, emotions are the same. Language may be different, mm. but emotions are the same. All right? So here is the how-tos. Here is the skills. Here is the work. Consistency, the discipline. The actions, the doing. This is ninety to ninety nine per cent of success. This is 1 to 10% of success. You need all 100. The level of success that you've had so far has been created by 100% of your mind, your mentality, your thoughts, mixed in with your work and your activity. The measure of it doesn't matter. What you have right now is 100%. All right? You can actually increase whatever that 100% is, though. Does that make sense? Yeah. How many would like to have, how, how like to have 100% of a million dollars? Okay. How many of you would like to have 100% of 10 million? Still 100%. It's a different number. All right? So, repetition. The greatest gift that we have, all right, is the ability to form habits, to form paradigms, a way of thinking. A way of doing. Alright? It's nothing. It's nothing that you do on a consistent basis that you will not become great at. Absolutely nothing. So when it comes to trading, this formula still works. Does that make sense? Do you have a desire to multiply money? If you have a desire to multiply money, start creating affirmations concerning that desire of multiplying money. Okay? 
Why? So I can say it. Why? So I can hear it. So it can become a desire of my heart. All right? Then I've got to now add the skills. Where do I go to get the skills? IML. IML. Academy. Academy. Where do I go to get the skills? The harmonic scanner. Nice. Nice. Training course. Repetition. All right? If I want to learn how to build the business, the skills I need to learn is what? Prospecting. Presenting. Right. Promoting. How do I get great at these skills? Repetition. Repetition. How do I get, get great at the skill of, of trading? Repetition. Repetition. This is why you should demo. Even after you go live, still demo. Mm, makes sense. Wow. If it's a desire of yours. All right? Clarence demoed for four months. How many months? Four. 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 When I look at all the testimonies that are happening right now at iMarket's Life, I get excited about the fusion trader testimonies and the auto trader testimonies. I love those testimonies. They're great. But the ones that really move me are the ones where people have actually learned. Because think about their lives five years from now. Wow. I mean, Jesus, it's amazing. Five years from now, knowing this? I mean, look at the amount of money that is going to be created from money. <laughs> I mean, these guys are literally on their phones, multiplying money from their phone in third world countries. That's right. Wow. People in Nigeria are doing this. People in Mexico are doing this. That's right. People all around the world on their phone, multiplying money. In a global market. Because they have a dollar, but they turn that dollar into five dollars. A lady in Trinidad took ten dollars, turned it to ten thousand. Got started an account with fifteen hundred, turned it to one hundred and twenty thousand. Right? I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You know? You say, well, well, you can lose money in, in, in for Yeah, you can lose money in anything. Right. When it comes to investing. Yeah. And that's why you learn. Because, guys, think about it. If over the course of a year you learn, right, and you earn 100000 but you lost 20000 <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? Hell yeah. You made 80000 All right? If business owners that are not investing money, guys, it is going to go. Money has wings. It's a law. It's not wishing anything bad. It's just, it's just what it is. Somebody is going to call you. That's going to need that money. <laughs> and because you have it on you, you're going to give it to them. Right. Right. Hmm? Yeah, it's gone. It's, it, never, it never comes back. Lo How many of you have loaned money before? How many of you have loaned money before and you can't find that person? <laughs> Right? I learned if you want to lose a friend, loan them money. Yeah. <laughs> right away. That's what, like, people that I'm like really, really close to friends, like if they ever come, they really have a need, I don't loan it to them. I say, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'm not going to loan it to you because I know you're not going to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it. And you give what you know you're willing to. There you go. Thank <laughs> you.
all right? Because your friendship with that person is worth more than whatever it is that you're, right? Because you don't get upset about the amount of money. Right. You get upset about the fact that they said they were going to give it back to you, and now they're avoiding you. <laughs> of course they're going to avoid you. They owe you money. Don't you avoid people you owe money? <laughs> right? When you see that phone call coming in and you know who this is, right? That bill collector, right? And they start talking to you crazy. How are you going to block the bill collector? Right? You owe them money, right? You owe me money, but you're going to block me. I should block you. All right? So, so the skill sets, right, it's the same exact same exact way. If, if we were talking about real estate, you would need to have affirmations about you being great in real estate. Yeah. And then you would need to develop the skills of someone who is great in real estate. And that would take time. Right? Right. But you'll go through the time if this is clear. If this is worthy, wow. does that make sense? Yes. You'll go through whatever you need to go through. You'll learn whatever it is you need to learn through once you have placed a value on what it is that you desire. Right? I know what it's going to feel like to look at 100 people earning $10,000 a month. I've seen it. Right? I know what that is going to look like. It is worthy. It is worth me doing everything that we're doing and everything we're going to do. All right? You times it by what? Faith. Faith. Faith is believing in this without any evidence. Without any physical evidence. Alright? But it says faith without works is what? Yeah. Yeah. So you can't say you have faith and you're not putting in the work. Who says, well, I have faith? Where's your calendar? If you have faith, if you have faith, that means you're showing the plan at least four times a week. If you're not showing the plan four times a week, it just means you don't have no faith. Not in this. How do you have faith that the sun is going to come up tomorrow? Thank you. It's going to rain. When it rains, is the sun still there? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. How do you have faith that the sun is going to come up tomorrow? Raise your hand. You have faith. You have no doubt in your mind that the sun is going to come up tomorrow. Do you know why? Because the sun is consistent. The sun is very consistent. And that's why you have faith. Right? So if you're having a challenge in your faith, it is because of inconsistency. If you're wondering if this is going to work or not, it is because of a lack of consistency. Like, how many of you believe God? How many of you have faith in God? Do you know why? God is consistent. Because he's consistent. <laughs> You've got to get yourself to the point where when it comes to your desires, and it comes to your work ethic, that you're consistent. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. <coughs> So I don't have to, you know, when, when Rudy got started in the business, right, or actually even before that, when I <clears throat> met Rudy, it wasn't looking at Rudy through the eyes of who he is right now. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. I don't look at anybody through the eyes of who they are right now. Whenever I look at someone, I'm always looking and say, where can they be? Who can they be? And who they can be 
is in that person's eyes. Their eyes carry what their future says about them. And you have to get great at actually picking that up in people. Wow. Okay? You have to get really, really great at that. And when you see someone that may not have the eyes that they need to have, you be a source of encouragement to them. Right. To remind them of who they are. Because it's there, right? It's, it's there for everybody. But some of us just need to be reminded. Someone had to remind me. Someone had to awaken me to it. Okay. Faith requires consistency. Faith requires work. Write this down. Faith requires patience. Patience is not, I'm not doing anything. Patience actually is, I'm working. Patience is, I am moving. I'm just not frustrated. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. yes. This formula, I've been teaching this for years now, desire plus skill times faith. <clears throat> All right. See, it says that this is the only thing that pleases God. <coughs> does it say <coughs> the only thing that pleases Him? What does it say? I think it actually says the only thing that pleases him is faith. Oh, that sounds like about anything, right? If it's impossible, right? It's impossible. Say it again. It's impossible. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. That means you gotta have it. That means you gotta have it. That means, right? It's impossible to please. So if if you're finding a challenge. Right? And by the way, faith and belief are two totally different things. Okay? Faith is more spiritual. Believing requires you to see something. Okay? Belief requires evidence. Faith requires no evidence. But belief does require evidence. How many of you have enough evidence that this business works? Okay? Now people wondered, you know, why. Why I I never or my, why we never said what our rank was? How many you wonder that? How many wonder? <laughs> I know he did. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, because I did not want the evidence of our success. I wanted the evidence of other people's success. Right. To be what drives the business. Right? Because if David does it, oh, well, David's done it before. He's supposed to do it again. True. Sure. Wow. Does that make sense? Yes. But when you hear of uh, the Etris is doing it, mm -hmm. right? When you hear the David and Trish is doing it, so proud of them. I remember when we first came to New York for the first Ooh. meeting, we, you know, David didn't even come. David didn't even want to come. <laughs> Uh, 
New York for June 17th in Orlando. At least, at least a hundred. All right, at least a hundred from New York and Orlando. Can we commit to that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get everybody's yes on that. Yes. 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 Can we commit to that? At least a hundred. Yes. 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 Start with the number ten. If you're leading here, start with the number ten. I'm gonna have ten people there. <clears throat> Once you get ten people committed, then I'm gonna have twenty people there. Once you have twenty people committed, do what you must to get to thirty to fifty at that event. All right. Will there be other events? Yes. But promoting like your life depends on it, but this event will accelerate your business much faster. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Much faster. All right. Uh, so we got a few minutes here. What we're going to do is I'm going to bring up uh, an incredible woman that has literally impacted the lives of millions of people already. Um, and, you know, no matter where we go, all right, no matter where we go, around the world, there are literally people that come up to her in tears uh, just from having the opportunity to meet her in person. It, it, I just I just smile every time I see it. It's, it's pretty astonishing. And the impact that she's been able to have has been because of the, the hours. When I say hours, I mean hours upon hours and days upon weeks and months and years of developing that she's done on herself as a woman. There's no other woman in this world like her. And I'm not just saying that because she's my wife. I, I've met a lot of people. And she is absolutely, absolutely unique in every way. And you guys get a chance to hear her actually train on something that um, every time I see it, every time people see it, it, it makes a difference uh, in their lives as well. So you guys are privileged. Usually you, you have to pay, you know, thousands of dollars to get to, you know, she's not cheap. I'm the one that's cheap. <laughs> she's not cheap at all. Uh, but uh, definitely excited that you guys get a chance to hear uh, my wife, Chanel, and Monique. So guys, please stand up. Help me welcome.
most people think that the only way that you can communicate with God is through your prayers and your words. And yes, it is one of the number one ways. But really the way that you communicate with God is the way that you the way that you feel. And so when we talk about success here in IML as all of you launch your businesses and grow your businesses, the way that you are feeling is going to be a direct communication with God and what it is that you are saying about what you want to accomplish in your business. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. So some of you can write down great things and you can you can say great things, but if you're not feeling it in the inside, right, mm. right it's not going to get out there and manifest. All right? I'm going to show you guys in just a couple of seconds how the way you feel affects your life and really affects your level of success uh, in, IM, in, in IML. But first I want to ask you, who knows what the law of attraction is? Law of attraction? Somebody tell me, what's the law of attraction? Like attracts like. Like attracts like. Okay. Anybody else? It's a magnet? Whatever you, whatever, whatever you ask for, you attract? Or you okay. are what you attract. You are what you attract, right? Correct. So most people are very familiar with the law of attraction. A lot of people use the law of attraction to build their businesses and to, to create success, right? But there is another law, a spiritual law, that trumps the law of attraction. When I say trumps the law of attraction, I mean it's higher than the law of attraction, right? And it's simply the law of of vibration. It's the law of vibration. Because you can say like attracts like, and I can say I want to attract someone, well I really don't want to attract a woman with a blue dress on, but my point is <laughs> you, can, you can attract, say I want to attract someone just like me. And you can look the part, speak the part, be the part, all of that. But if I don't feel like the woman in the blue dress, I won't attract. Mm. And that's the biggest disconnect that most people have with the law of attraction and, and manifesting things and creating things. They say, I want this. They say, I want Chairman 10. They say, I want 100 new people in my business. They don't feel as if they are already that. Right? So your feelings are nothing but frequencies, which are just simply vibrations. So what I want to talk about here is basically how to build your business from a spiritual standpoint, from a vibrational standpoint. And I'm going to piggyback a lot off of what my, my husband just shared here, that everything starts in spirit. Everything starts in spirit. And most people think that success begins with your actions. Well, I'm going to go do, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go work, right? That's what most people say, i got to go get it. Have you ever said that before? Yeah. I'm yes. hustling. I'm going to go yes. make it happen. Make. I'm going to go make it happen. When you begin to do something before creating it in spirit, you're making. When you do something in spirit, you are creating. Come on. God created. Yes. He didn't make you. He created you. Mm. You make as a human being. You make. I, I can make this paper move. But I didn't create yes. the paper. Make sense? Yes. And so... When you're building your business, it's important for you to understand that before you go out into the world and you start prospecting and before you start presenting and before you start, you know, showing up at meetings and showing up at the home and before you start to really uh, build your business, you have to first create what it is that you want to experience in the physical, in the spirit first. And one of the number one ways to create in spirit is fine-tuning your vibrational energy fine-tuning what it is that you are emitting out of you. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 All right. Your feelings emit. All right. Now, I say this all the time. You get what you emit. You don't get what you say. You, know, you get what you ask for. Yeah, if you ask for it and you feel it, you'll get what you ask for. But you don't just get that. You get what you are actually feeling. All right? I want to show you guys here how your feelings affect your day-to-day -day experiences. How many of you guys feel sometimes like life is just kind of like a roller coaster? Like life is tough, like you know, a lot of stuff going on, right? Or how many of you guys feel like people just get on your nerves sometimes? They just, they just do stuff. 
how the people do stuff. All right. All right. I want to show you how to rise above all of that here. Where'd my marker go? All right. So the reality that you live today, the life that you live today, the home that you live in, the car that you drive, your spouse that you have, everything that you have was first created in spirit first. In spirit first. Regardless if you recognize that or not, you created it. Wow. <laughs> Does anybody understand that? Yeah. 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 You created it. You created the home that you live in. You created the argument. Or you created the, the accomplishment. Wow. Inside first. This is why it is so important for you to become aware of how you are feeling on a day-to-day -day basis, especially as we're talking about hitting your goals here in IML. All right? So, I'm going to draw a little diagram here. All right, somebody tell me what is one of the best feelings that you can possibly have hmm. as a human being? Achievement. Love. Achievement. I heard it. Love. 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 Be a father. Love. Love is the highest vibrational level that is humanly possible to reach. Finish the sentence for me. God is love. 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 When you are operating from a space of love, you are operating at your highest godlike state. Wow. Okay. All right. Finish this. All things are possible to those who believe. believe. Okay. I can do all things through Christ. Christ. What's another word for Christ? God. 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 What's another word for God? Love. love. Everything becomes possible when you are operating from a feeling of love. <laughs> Everything becomes possible. <laughs> All right. Everything becomes possible. The reason that possibilities get kind of stuck or things become impossible in people's lives is because they're not operating from a place of love. Wow. They're trying to work from a place of fear. They're trying to work from a place of stress. They're trying to work from a place of anxiety or doubt or just, I just feel fine or okay. They're not operating from a place of love. And so it's very important as you guys go out and well, to the world to build your business is that you get yourself into a state of love before you talk to a prospect. Before you show up to a meeting. Wow. Okay. So, love. What is one of the lowest vibrational, the lowest vibrational energy that you can Hate. Hate. Fear. Hate. Fear. 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 All right. Fear. In other words, what's the opposite of God? The enemy. The enemy. <laughs> Big red devil that's out in the sky, huh? Some folks, right? Right? The enemy. All right? In other words, it's a negative. Uh, in other words, it's a negative thought. Okay. Now there are many different emotions in between here. You have happiness. You have joy. You know, you have peace. You have contentment. You have, give me some middle emotions. Fine. I'm I, fine. I'm I. Right. How you doing? I'm cool. I'm good. Right. I'm good. I'm right. Then you have, give me some lower ones. Sad. Sad. Depressed. Depressed. Angry. Angry. Awful. Sleepy. <laughs> Lonely. Bad. Tired. Tired is when I put tired up here. A lot of people are trying to get to Chairman 10 or trying to generate $100,000 a month and they're tired. <laughs> Not possible. Okay? Wow. Tired. Uh, disappointment. Uh, disappointed. Okay? Worry. Which is right down there with fear. And then you have, then you have hate and, and dislike and you know, all of those things down there, right? So these are your uh, emotions over here. Up here, we're going to put this thing called time. How many of you guys want to accomplish your goals like now? Yeah. Like yesterday? Yeah. Wanted to like show up here today already with the money in your bank account, like today. Yeah. Right? All right. So time. Well, obviously, there's something that is in between what you want and where you are. There's something that's in between that. And it's called, it's, it's called, it's not called time. Time is how you experience it. But there's something in between it, and I'm going to show you what that stuff is in just a second. Okay? Somebody give me their goal. I'm going to put Chairman 10 starting out, since we already have 100 Chairman 10s that we are believing that are already done in this room. Right. All right. Chairman 10. All right. What are some other goals that 
we have it within IML? Chairman 25. Chairman 25. How about 100 new leaders in your business and in your organization? Yes. yes. One more. Y'all ain't got no goals. <laughs> Master Trader. Hmm? A new house. You want a new house, all right? How about to pay your, your kids' tuition? Hundred thousand in the bank. There we go. All right, Bahamas. There we go. Who's going to the Bahamas with us? Yeah! Yeah! Ladies, we gotta start working out. Look really great on the beach. Okay. All right. All right. So these are your desires, your goals, the things that you want that you don't have. That's over here. Okay. Now, up here we have time, so we're going to do this represents, this can be days, this can be hours, this can be weeks, this can be months, this can be years, this can be decades, this can be lifetimes, all right? This is the distance between where you are and what you are feeling right now in this very moment between the goals, dreams, and desires that you have. Make sense? Yes. yes. All right. How do you guys feel right now? Awesome. Woo! Woo! Yes, you're happy. Had an awesome training today. You guys got to watch my husband up here. I get happy when I get to watch my husband up here. <laughs> All right. So you feel good. You're excited about your goals. You're pumped up. You're ready to go out there and make it happen. All right. Now, what's going to happen when you get out there in that New York uh, traffic and uh, you're trying to get home and people are just acting crazy? How are you going to feel? Excited. Excited. Somebody's excited. You must take this training. <laughs> All right? All right. So you're like, okay, you know what? I'm in this traffic. I'm on this subway. These people are getting on my nerves. I just want to get home. Right? Yeah. Now, you have a, a meeting schedule tomorrow, a home meeting schedule, and you're excited about it. You invited all these people. You're like, yes. Are you ready? Yes. And nobody shows up. Excited. No. <laughs> Excited. Well, let's just pretend that you're just kind of disappointed. You're just like, you know, I did all these things David told me to do. I listened to my sponsor and I invited and I did this thing doesn't work. Mm. All right. <laughs> but then, right, on Monday night, he does a call. He's like, yes. And you're back up here. You're back up here. Excited. All right. Nice. Or next week, Friday comes, pollution hits, and you're like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as it hits, you have a bill, and you're like, woo! <laughs> 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 uh, now you have uh, one of your, your new prospects that came on, they call you and say, I just can't do this business, I don't think it's working for me, I want to quit. And you're like, no, 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 wait, awesome. what do you mean you want to quit? You just started. <laughs> but then you have somebody underneath you that just went platinum 1,000. <laughs> But you, you, you're no, no, no. You're, you're right here because you need two. You want, you want, you want two, right? It's, but, but then they bring on somebody else, right? All right. <laughs> so this is just the wave of business, guys. Wow. You know how life goes. Things wow. happen. You feel good. You feel bad. You hit your goal. You miss your goal, right? <clears throat> now these are all IML situations. Wow. But as you are building your IML business, how many of you guys have children? Do they tick you off sometimes? Keep your hands up. How many of you guys have a spouse? You have a spouse? How it ticks you off? If they're here, put your hand down. Put your hand down. <laughs> okay? How many of you guys are actually married? Marriage, you gotta, you gotta handle some stuff in marriage, right? It doesn't always feel good, right? That's right. All right. How many of you guys have jobs? Bosses, uh, co-workers, uh, and people uh, who you don't like, uh, and you can't stand, uh, right? right? And you don't have to raise your hands at this, because some people have some health challenges, or some things that are going on inside of them emotionally, or just things that they're dealing with in their family, problems, debt, bills, stuff, life, yes. is going to happen. Yes. There's nothing you can do about it, except for how you react to it. Mm. Okay? So as you are building your IML businesses, you're still going to endure life and experience life. So I'm going to put a few more dots on here. You know, you feel good. You feel bad. You got to go to work. You <laughs> get paid. You know, you got a date. Okay. 
we have all this life stuff going on, right? Now let me ask you guys, what is the fastest way to get to a particular destination? Straight, straight, straight ahead, baby. Straight line. Woo! Right? Straight ahead. Straight ahead. But, since wow. you are a human being living this life, here you are, wow. happy and sad. Up and excited and not excited and disappointed. Then you got paid and then wow. excited. Uh, uh, your husband did this. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Who said they feel like they're on an emotional roller coaster? Wow. Up and down and up and down and up and down. Yet you have written down, I am a chairman ten. Right. Shoot. I'm the chairman 50. I earn blah, blah, blah. I have $100,000 in the bank. But your life is up and down and up and down and up and down. What did I say in the very beginning? That your feelings are frequencies. Frequencies. Right? Your feelings are frequencies. If I were to stretch this line out wow. versus, I'm going to give you another example. Let's just pretend you can just be happy all the time, excited all the time. Every time I said something, he said, I'm excited. Right. I'm excited. It didn't show up. I'm excited. Right. My pay Lucian didn't hit, but I'm excited. All right. I didn't get paid as much as I want. I'm excited. It didn't show up for the meeting. I'm excited. I'm stuck in traffic. I'm excited. She yes. doesn't like me, but I'm excited. Yeah. They're talking about me. I'm excited. It's taking me a little longer yes. to go, but I'm excited. Yes. Wow. Let's stretch both of these lines out. Woo. If we're standing here and God is over there, who's going to deliver and give everything that you're asking for, we stretch these things out. Which way of being will get you there the fastest? I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> right? I'm in a state of love. I'm in a state of love if you didn't show up. I'm in a state of love if you dropped out. I'm in a state of love if things go bad this month. I'm in a state of love if I lost my wallet. I'm in a state of love if we're arguing. I'm in a state of love if I don't feel good. I'm in a state of love. You want to know why? Because God is in me. Right. I am God. Right. And so you, you can't upset God. You, you can't upset God. We were having this conversation a few minutes ago, this gentleman up here. And I said, it's impossible for you to hurt me, I may feel something physically, but it's impossible for you to hurt me because the Spirit of God lives in me. And so if you do something to me or something happens, you're not doing it to me. You're really doing it to yourself. It's this thing called karma. Yes. And so you can't get upset when people do things to you. Wow. Because what happens? What are these dots here, everybody? Situations, Situations created by what? For you. No, frequency. People. I said, how do you feel right now? You feel happy. Why? David Trey, not, you know, right? Okay. You're happy. These are people. You're stuck in traffic. People. People. Your kids are messing up at school. What is that? People. People don't show up for the meeting. What's that? People. people. These are people, 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 people. If you allow your feelings to be moved by people, you are allowing people to control your dreams, your goals, your desires, and ultimately your bank account, your money, your success, and everything else. Yes. So what is important as you are building your business is for you to do what I call fine-tune your vibrational energy. Everybody write that down. Fine-tune my vibrational energy. In other words, I have to feel good. I have to feel good in order for me to accomplish my goals. Has anyone ever heard of the concept that time does not exist? Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as time. Wow. What creates time is how we feel in the present. That creates the distance between you and your hundred grand. Because if you were to just stay in a state of love, all things are possible through love. Right? Now, 
is it possible to just walk around and I'm happy every day, all day, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I feel good. No, it's not, because you are made in this human thing called flesh. And we do experience things through our five senses, right? We do have feelings. But your feelings are not only frequencies, they are also muscles. Hmm. Muscles. Wow. And a lot of people have very weak emotional muscles. Hmm. I say something to you that you don't like and you go, oh. that's a weak muscle. Right? Or a lot of people have very weak faith muscles. I believe, I believe, I believe. Oh my God, I don't see the money. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's a weak faith muscle. So the same way that you build physical muscles. How do you build a physical muscle? Exercise. You exercise. But what's important about the exercise? Daily. Daily repetition. Daily repetition. 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 When you do, uh, when you lift a weight, what do you do, what do you do them in? Reps. 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 If I just lifted a weight four times, repetition. Am I gonna have a muscle? No. no. But if I did three sets of twenty five days a week, Heavy. I'm going to build a strong muscle. Now the amazing thing about muscles is they have this thing called a memory. Mm -hmm. And so once you build it, your physical body will always remember it. Now, it may be difficult, you know, sometimes you may fall off, but this is why constantly bringing yourself back, constantly bringing yourself back and strengthening those muscles, your memory will immediately kick in. Nice. But first, you have to build a muscle. Has anybody ever started, like, started a workout plan for the first time ever in life? It was tough, right? Yeah. Yes. It was hard jumping in that thing. But once you started to build some muscles, you can kind of fall off for a few weeks or maybe a few months or maybe even a year may go by. Right. Jumping back in it, is it a little easier? Absolutely. It's still tough. It still hurts. It still hurts. But your memory kicks in and you're able to get through it. And so what's really critical for everybody in here as you are building your businesses and as you are understanding how to build your business through spirit is that you begin to develop a strong emotional muscle. And when you start working out, sometimes it doesn't feel good. Because what you will do is you will begin to rattle the other people in your life who may not be as strong as you, as a whole other training. But, so my point here is it's very important for you to stay high. Everybody say, I have to stay high. Stay I have high. to stay high. Stay high. And I'm not talking about it with any recreational. <laughs> I'm not talking about with any outer use. I'm talking about you have to keep your <laughs> keep your spirit high. All right, so I want to give you guys, everybody got this? Yes. All right, I want to give you guys just a, uh, just a couple of, before I switch this, yeah. I want to give you guys just a couple of ways, actually five ways for you to stay high. Woo. All right, five ways to stay high. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Five ways to stay high. And it's five ways to stay high, but it's also five ways to begin your emotional workout plan. All right, everyone in this room should have a spiritual and an emotional and a mental workout plan. Most of the time people go and they say, I'm going to do this physical workout plan and I'm going to go get my body all buffed, but they forget the most important muscles that control the body are the emotions. And it's your mental and it's, it's your spirit. So no matter how great your body looks, if you don't have those other muscles, it's going to be kind of tough. All right? So we're going to be spiritually tough and emotionally tough here right. in IML. All right? right. So the first thing is your word. The words that are coming out of your mouth are seeds. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a seed. What happens when you plant a seed? It grows. It grows. Oh my God, building this IML business is so hard. That's a seed. That's going to grow into what? Building the business is hard. Every time you talk to a prospect, they say no. Every time you try to go and grow your, your team, it doesn't work. Because you spoke, building this business is hard. And you probably spoke it with feeling. Right? 
So training your words, training your mouth. A lot of people have very loose tongues. They just talk. They just talk because <laughs> they see something or they feel something or I'm just going to say something. Controlling your mouth is the best way to control your bank account. You have to learn how to control your mouth. So the words that are coming out of your mouth, you must begin to speak as though and as if your goals, dreams, and desires are already in manifestation. So if you were already a Chairman 10, if you were already a Chairman 50, what words would you be speaking? I am. I am. Right? An uh, awesome woman came up to me today. I don't see her here. Uh, not too long ago, and she said, I'm going to be a millionaire. And I just said, mm -mm. No, you're not. Because if you keep saying, I'm going to be there, she is. I'm going to be. It will never happen. So I can just look at you confidently and say, No, you're not. Let's change that right now. I am. And the minute that I said that, her whole. Gosh, her, her vibration went up, but also to her, the vertebrae in her back. She said, whoa, wait a minute, I am. Right? So when you speak in that present tense, so those of you who have your goals in place, I'm going to get to Chairman 10, but you know, I'm, I'm going to go to the Bahamas. I'm going to have $100,000 in the bank. I'm going to get to Chairman 100. One day, I can look you confidently in the face and say, no, you're not. Because... The words that you're speaking are saying, I, I will, which is in the future. So you are manifesting it always being in your future. Wow. So the first thing is you have to immediately switch to, I am, even if you are not in the physical. Because everything starts where? In spirit. Wow. With your word. So even if right now I'm not Chairman 25 and I don't have the money I want in the bank and I don't have the team that I want and I'm not where I want to be, the first step is to, to step into being it. Act as though you have already received that which you desire to have. Does that make sense? Yes. Act as though you have already received 100 leaders. If you have 100 new and successful leaders that are in your organization, how would you be sitting right now? <laughs> if you logged on to your Chase app or your Bank of America app or whatever, you logged into your PayLucia right now, and there was $100,000 and 25 cents sitting in the account, how would you be sitting? How would you be breathing? Or dirty, please. Yes. <laughs> Right? If you already had the house that you are desiring to manifest, if the, the home that you live in right now, if you were to go home and walk into that house, how would you be walking? How would you be driving home? Right? So it is a matter of acting as though you have already received. That's first. Because think about this. If I am acting as though I already have $100,000 in the bank, will somebody in a Honda Accord in traffic Upset me? Who no. come over my lane? <laughs> no. Right? If I already have the rank of Chairman 50, and I'm already making, you know, six figures a month, or whatever the case might be, and I'm already there, is my kids acting up and acting silly? Is that going to upset me? No. You're going to say, honey, go, go take a nap. I'm going to count this money. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're not going to be upset. Yes. So this is why it is important for you to act as though you have already received, because it cancels out anybody else that is acting like they're in their present reality. Mm. It totally cancels them out. Now, it doesn't mean ignore people, be mean to people, don't have compassion for people, but be cold and mean. It simply means to respond with power in everything that happens to you. Because you cannot control what people do. All you can control is who you are. And if this is what you are saying that you want, you have to be that first and now. All right? So I am. Everybody say that. I am. I, am. I have a homework assignment for you guys. We don't have a lot of time, but I want you guys to write down 100 things that you are. My husband does, has people do this. His exercise may be a little different or better than mine, but <laughs> I am. I want you to write down 100 I am's. I am what? I am a leader. I am a multimillionaire. I, I own real estate. I am healthy. Right? 
I am a chairman 50, chairman 100. Okay. I am successful. I want you to write that down. 100 I am. All right? So the very first, the first way to say hi is your words. The second way is using what is, what I believe is the number two tool that God has given us all. And that is the, the tool of your imagination. a rainbow. See a rainbow in your mind. You're looking at me. Close your eyes. <laughs> pot of gold right. Yes. See a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Everybody open their eyes. Did everyone just see the rainbow and the pot of gold? Is there a rainbow or a pot of gold in here? Yes. Well, there's a pot. There's a bunch of pots of gold in here. But is there a rainbow in this room? Yes. No, there is not a physical rainbow in this room. I don't know, they must really be high. Yeah, it must really be high. Right? But you were able to physically see a rainbow, even though a rainbow is not here. That is a tool that God has given you. Wow. Your imagination. All right? Most people use their imagination the wrong way. They imagine the worst case scenario. They imagine the reality that they're already living. They're imagining what that what bad is going to take place if something doesn't happen. How many of you guys can like see the disaster that would happen if you don't pay your bills next month? You can like say, I see it already. Right? Most that's how most people operate. They're using their imagination the wrong way. Or they have very short imagination. Your imagination goes from here to my closet, because I know I'm going to put on in my closet. I saw it before, and my head's going to put that on. And I know I'm going to go get my car and drive to the mall. And so that's as far as your imagination takes them to the next step. You have to stretch your imagination far beyond your reality and use that imaging tool to be able to see before you see. You have to see before you see. And let's go back to this, to this chart here. If you were imagining 100 new and successful people coming into your business, this woman that called you and said, I don't want to do this business anymore, uh, and she quits on you, if you can see 100 new and successful people, is she going to bother you? No. She probably wouldn't even exist because your imagination creates. Mm. Mm. Your imagination would create someone calling you saying, I'm so excited about this business. Here are my goals. I am ready to rock and roll. I am one of your 100 leaders. That's what your imagination will create. <clears throat> right? So, using your imagination and your, 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 vis your, your visioning tool. And I use it all the time. I have envisioned this amazing dinner that we are about to have tonight. <laughs> I can see it in my mind and feel it in my body, right? So using your, uh, using your imagination, all right? That's, that's number two. I'm going to talk about visualizing in just, just a second. Your, your imagination is a muscle. Your imagination is a muscle. Can you see yourself ten years from now? Some of you guys are saying, yes, yeah. No, really. Can you see yourself? I will now. Ten years from now, yes. Yes. Wow. can you see where you live? Can you see who you love? Can you see what you have? Can you see what's in your bank account? Oh, yeah. right? Some people say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, can you see it and then feel it? Because the amazing thing about your vision is your vision can ignite your feelings. If it ignites your feelings, it can affect your vibrational frequency. Right? All right. So, so number two is using your imagination and your vision. Number three is to... This one is a, is a very powerful tool that uh, some people aren't aware of, but it's, I call it, bless before you manifest. Wow. Bless before you manifest. If you want to get spiritual, it's called baptizing something. 
I baptize this in the name of Jesus, meaning I bless it, I wash it, right, before it even happens. One of the tools that I've, I've used to build my business over the years, uh, a lot of people think that I work a lot. I don't work a lot, if at all. I actually sleep a lot. Yes. No, I do. I sleep a lot. Not because I'm lazy, not because I don't feel like working, but because it is in your your sleep and in that place of unconsciousness where you can place things into your subconscious mind that creates for you without you having to work. And when you wake up and rise and you go to work, things are just there. Wow. It's really, really powerful. It takes a lot of faith and a lot of muscular strength to be able to do that. Right? Sometimes I'll be laying in the bed and my husband will go, are you sleeping? I'm like, mm, kind of. I'm visualizing. I'm creating in my brain before I get out of the bed. Most of the time what I'm doing is I am blessing the people who are about to pay me today. I'm blessing the new members that are coming into my business. I'm blessing the team members. Some of you guys don't know this. If I've seen you before, if I've touched you before, if I, if I know you here in IML, I've probably prayed for you before. For your success, for your family, for your children for your happiness. I ask God to remove any blocks in your way that will prevent you from being successful in this business. Right? I ask for your mindset to be elevated, for God to wash you of your past. Right? You don't even know me. Right? So bless before you manifest is a powerful tool. Those of you who are, uh, you know, who are married or looking to get married, bless your spouse before you meet them. Or bless, bless your husband before he comes home. Especially women who have successful men in this business, your word and your thought can affect their performance in, in business. Pray for his success, right? So bless before you manifest. So literally what I mean is if you are looking to go to Chairman 25, when my husband, husband breaks down the comp plan, he tells you exactly how, how many people do you need to go Chairman 25, darling? Uh, 20 platinum 1,000. All right? I would literally, if that was my goal, literally make a list, 1 to 20, and I would just make up names. <laughs> and each person, I would bless you in the name of Jesus. I would just look at that name and see their life, see their family. Bless you, bless your bank account. Make, our, make, make money available for you and the mindset available for you to say, yes, the minute that I meet you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Mm. Oh. Right? Wow. And you go down that list, and you keep that list. You can even draw stick people. I used to do this years ago when I first started my business. I had a wall of stick people. No, I really did. And I would talk to them. Honey, you are so beautiful and confident. I love you. You are amazing. And I, would, I don't know who they are back then, but guess who they are now? They're, they're in my business and my, my, my business today, my company today, right? So bless before you. Manifest very, 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 very powerful. Spend more time working in spirit than you do in the physical. Mm -hmm. And what that will do is give you power when you work in the physical. Great. Make sense? And most people do it the opposite way. They go and they work and they work and they work and hustle and they hustle and they burn themselves out. And like, oh, uh, uh. well, because you haven't created anything in the in, in the spirit first. That's why you're chasing something that doesn't exist that you can't catch because you haven't created it first. Nice. All right. So, that's number three. Number four is to end your day with correction. Constant correction. What I mean by this is, remember I said that your words are seeds? It's not possible to just be perfect. A lot of people think, oh, it's so perfect once I learned this stuff. No, it's not possible for you to be perfect. But what is possible is constant correction. It's not about perfection. It's about constant correction. And so that moment when you are feeling some fear before you have to go present or that moment when you, you get discouraged and you say, this IML business isn't working, I want to quit, or that moment when you get into a little tiff with your business partner or whoever, you can correct that. You correct it with your word. Word trumps word. So if I say something negative, I can replace it and say something positive. Cancel that are my two favorite words. I love it because sometimes I'll say, oh my God, I can't stand this. You know what? Cancel that. Cancel that. I cancel that and then you replace it. 
Because you will have those moments of anxiety or fear or doubt or you may feel like, hey, this month I didn't hit my goals and, I, and you beat yourself up. But it's about constant correction. There's a technique that you can do. I do it almost every night. Nobody knows that I do it. My husband doesn't even know that I do it. I get in the bed and I correct <clears throat> everything that I may have said, done, spoken, or thought that was out of alignment with my goals and who I know that I am. Daily forgiveness. Daily letting go. Daily correction. And another technique is, at the end of your day, let's say you had a full day of prospecting, of meetings, of sit-downs, or whatever the case might be, and some things maybe didn't kind of go your way, you can recreate the day in your mind. The same way you just re saw that rainbow is the way that you can see the day going the way that you intended for it to go. Now, this may not affect you at first. If you just do it one day, it doesn't mean you're going to wake up the next day with a perfect day. It's a muscle. So if day after day after day after day, you are constantly correcting and constantly seeing, this is how I want my business to go. When I wake up in the morning, I want to pray, I want to work out, I want to shower, I want to do, you know, do my thing in the morning. Then get in my car, drive to my first meeting. I see myself shaking their hand. I see them, see them signing the application. Then I go into my Next meeting where I have three new prospects, and then I go into our home meeting at 7, and I see each and every person closing, each and every person closing. I see myself shaking hands. I see the credit cards coming out. I see it. I see the growth. On Friday, my team is calling me saying, yay, oh, pollution hit. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> you see that? And I just felt that. As I closed my eyes, I literally saw myself going to somebody's house and seeing three people pull out their credit cards. I don't even do home meetings. <laughs> I just saw that. So you can literally lay in the bed at night and correct the errors of your day. You are a creative force. God has given you dominion over your entire life. You have to use the tools that he gave you. All right? And again, doesn't mean perfection. Please don't think that I'm saying your life will be perfect with this. All right? But when you use your tools, you can correct. All right? So that's number four. And then number five is having a daily spiritual practice. <clears throat> daily spiritual practice. If you want abs, what do you have to do? Yes. Sit ups. How often? Every day. Every day. You have to have a daily spiritual practice of doing sit ups. If you want abs, if you want to stay up here in a space and a vibrational energy of love, what do you have to do? Stay excited. A daily, stay excited. Yes, a daily spiritual practice. Most people, not most, I'll say some, I won't say most. Some people have a stronger daily Instagram practice than they do a daily spiritual practice. Some people have a stronger daily argument practice than they do a spiritual practice. Right. When I say a spiritual practice, I mean a time to connect with God. A time for you to get in alignment with the divine. A time for your spirit to step forth so your flesh and your body can step back. And so that you can walk in the creation right? versus you trying to make things happen. And so a daily spiritual practice, it can start with 15 minutes a day. I started doing this probably about 12 or 13 years ago, where I would wake up every single morning, and the first thing that I would do when I step out of the bed, I made a rule, your feet will not touch the ground until you say thank you. Each foot, your right foot, thank, your left foot, you. Don't get up and then say thank you. No. Thank you and just sit for a moment then I would get up and I would go to my kitchen and I would make a cup of lemon tea it's just my thing you don't have to do lemon tea but it's just my thing I would take the hot of li uh, the cup of hot, hot cup of lemon tea and go and sit on the floor in my little tiny apartment and I would sit on the floor and I would just say thank you Lord thank you God thank you for my life thank you for my success mind you I wasn't successful at the time thank you for my success Thank you for my love. I didn't know this guy. <laughs> but I thanked God for him. 
right? Mm -hmm. So it's thanking, 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 thanking. And then I would think about my goals. At the time, I was writing my first book. And so I would think about book signings and people buying my book and me being on the New York Times bestseller list. And I would see myself. Mind you, I didn't have two nickels to rub together. Rent late, months past due. But I would see myself in a different place. And I would sit there. And after that, I would just be still. Scripture says, be still. That's where you find God is in stillness. You don't find God in chaos. You find, you find God's manifestation. You find God's ability in movement. Miracles happen in movement. Right? You do have to move. But before you move, you've got to cultivate that inside of you and pull that up, out, uh, that up outside of you. Right? So, a daily spiritual practice. So, I would do that every day. And that little 15 minutes for me turned into two, three hours of meditating, of reading, of personal development, so that when I took a step out into the world to go meet people, to go talk to people, to go work my business, to go, to, to go and create things, I mean, things were happening like boom, boom, mega miracles would take place. And you can do the same thing in your IML business. So every single day, 15 minutes a day, you get up in the morning, thank you. Whatever you need to do to wake up, clear your throat, go get some water, or whatever the case might be, don't pick your phone up. Mm -hmm. Do not pick your phone up. What's more important, your phone or God? God. God. Most people say, well, my phone, because my prospects and my team and my people and my... <laughs> well, you wouldn't have that without God, so right. wait a minute. <clears throat> okay. Get up, thank you. You go to a place. God says you pray in the closet, close the door, in secret. Go somewhere. Sit. See your goals. You need to have on a piece of paper. I am so happy and so thankful now that I am a Chairman 10. I am so happy and so thankful for my whatever your goal is and I know. You need to look at that. Praise God for that. Close your eyes. See those people. Create that vision in your mind. And just sit still for a few moments. Get yourself in alignment. All right? And remember this chart. Because no, when you get out into the world, it's going to happen. They're going to come at you. That's right. Right? But if you are still and you are you are grounded, you're creating a strong muscle. Right? 15 minutes a day. Day after day after day after day. Some of you guys will walk in the next meeting that we come to and say, Oh my God, Chanel, David, I brought in 30 people in one day. I, I just exploded my business in, in, in 30 days. It doesn't make any sense how many people are gravitating to People are chasing me down to get an IML. My inbox is full. My DM is full. My meetings are full. I don't understand what's happening. I do. You're creating in spirit. 15 minutes a day. There's a book called A Course in Miracles. In the book it says, five minutes spent with the Holy Spirit every day is enough to control your thought forms and to control what you are creating throughout the entire day. Five minutes. That is all God needs. It's five minutes. And he will create something that will blow your mind in this business. So can you guys commit to 15 minutes a day? Yes. 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 Absolutely. That's all it takes. So that is how you stay high. Now, for some of you, I'm going to just go ahead and warn you. When you start this out, uh, how many of you guys have ever, uh, any gardeners or anyone who has a garden or deals with growing stuff? No, it's, it's okay. We in New York. Yeah, you can okay. so I get it. But let's just imagine that we have a garden. And we start digging up the weeds. And we start pruning the garden. What's going to happen? Bugs, worms, dirt. You're going to find all kinds of stuff. You're like, what is this? That's what's going to happen when you start this process. You begin to prune your emotional energy and prune what it is that you are creating. You're going to come upon some worms and some dirt and some stuff that's not too pretty. But you have to step. Oh, there's a problem. I'm excited about it. Oh, this person is talking about me. I'm excited about it. Oh, all of a sudden my husband, wife, kids, neighbors, they're not supporting what I'm doing. They think I'm doing a pyramid scheme, but I'm excited, excited. about it. Right? I'm excited about it. You're going to dig up some stuff, but you have to stay excited about it. It usually takes a good 7 to 30 days. I know that's a big gap, depending on how, how consistent you are. A good 7 to 30 days to really get into a process of feeling this. 
So that's where the commitment comes in. And that accumulated repetition. Make sense? Yes. All right, I'm excited for all of you to see what you guys are going to create. Yeah. Oh, woo.